In this lecture, we're going to show how to use a tool area hatch fill. With this tool, you can apply a cross hatch pattern or solid fill to a model, to a close sketch profile, or to a region bounded by a combination of model, edges, and sketch entities. So if we go here to annotation tab, here we have a tool area hatch fill. But before we use that tool, let's go here to view layout. And let's go with a section view. Let's create a vertical section view here like this and now we can see that hatch pattern is automatically applied to section view if we go here to broken note section if we create here a broken note section like this let's go with a depth 30 millimeters and okay here we can see that a hatch pattern is automatically created if we use a line section here like this and here also hatch pattern is automatically created let's click ok so we can see that a hatch pattern is automatically applied to section view a line section view and broken out section here but now if you want to apply hatch pattern to some other view or solid fill for example this view here or this view here or this view here you can go here to annotation tab and you can choose here area hatch fill so here you have your options you can go with a hatch as you can see here you can go with a solid or none so let's go with a hatch and here you can choose what you want to apply you can go with heavy metal you can go with plastic rubber you can go with marble you can go with aluminium and so on so for example if you go to metals then you have different hatch pattern if you go for example to bronze brass then you also have a different hatch pattern. And here we can choose area to hatch. We can go with a region or boundary. For example, we can choose this region, like this. And now we can see the preview here. We can also change here the scale. Now, as you see, like this. So we can increase here or decrease the number of the scale. As well, here we can change the angle, like this. So now we here have created a hatch pattern. Let's go to area hatch fill again. Let's go with a solid, for example. And now we can apply a solid to this area here, like this. And we can click OK. So this is also possible. And now if we want to edit this hatch pattern, we can just click here. And you can change this. For example, we want to change the scale. Like this, or an angle. Like this. So this is possible. Let's click OK. Or if you want to change this one, you can just click here and you can change this to hatch like this. You can change the scale and OK. But if you want to change this hatch here on the section view, align section view or broken out section view, we can't do that. We can click here on the sketch pattern, but as you see, we can't change that because those hatch patterns are automatically applied. But those hatch patterns that we have created, we can add it at any time we want. And this is how you can use Area Hatch Fill tool. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses, who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.